we didn't take our chances when we needed to. I think um, we could have broke them down better. We tried to rush the final pass. And in games like that, when teams bank up 5-4, 2-1, it's very, very difficult. So we have to make sure that we play better on the ball and off the ball with our movement. OK, and a little achievement for you. First WSL goal in a United shirt. How does that feel and is it a sign of what's to come? Yeah, definitely. It's a sound for what's come from me. I think the games that I've played for United the minutes I've had, I've been happy you know, settling into the team. Mark as a manager has been brilliant with me um, and also Marty because technically they haven't they've pushed me in training. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying my time here so far. Amazing. And four in four, how does it feel to have started the season in this form? Yeah, it's important. You know, you've got to collect points, collect wins at the start of the season. You don't want to drop points um, at this stage because ultimately come the end of the season, it could be an early setback early on in the season that costs you at the end. So we've got to continue to win games. And sometimes it's not going to be pretty like today, but as long as we get the win, that's the main thing. And you said it there, they didn't make it easy today, Leicester, to keep that running win going. How important is it to just stay calm, stick to the game plan when teams are hard to break down like they were? Yeah, to be honest, really hard, especially a player like me. It's so frustrating when we're just playing 20 passes along the back. I'm thinking, let's go forward now, we're ready for that goal. But ultimately, the girls had it under control. And, you know, sometimes as a team, you've got to trust in the process and trust in each other. And at times today, we needed to be a bit more physical, a bit more attack and manner. But ultimately, we got the win. And what we're talking about a lot in this team at the minute is uh, the amazing togetherness and connections that are being built off the pitch. And do you think it's playing into the performances on the pitch? Yeah, definitely. I think, the, honestly, one of the best group of people have been involved in. And they have this unique, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just the uniqueness when you walk in the club, in the in the hub. The girls are just so happy, want to stay there. Like, it could be two hours after training and there's still girls around. Like, you're not going to go home. Like, there's something special about this club and they call it a home and I truly believe it is.